Hey guys, if you're new here, then welcome to my channel, Flashback Videos. I hope you like what I'm going to show you today, and of course, if you're a regular here, then a big thank you for coming back. Anyway, today's flashback movie is the action thriller from 2013, A Good Day to Die Hard, in which McLean travels to Russia to get his estranged son Jack, an undercover CIA agent, out of prison. As usual, if you like what you see, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then you could even subscribe to the channel. I mean, it doesn't cost anything, and it really helps me out. Okay, so with all that being said, let's do this. Directed by John Moore, with a screenplay written by Skip Woods and Roderick Thorpe, A Good Day to Die Hard was released by 20th Century Fox in February 2013, with a running time of around an hour and 40 minutes. The movie was filmed in Budapest, with a budget of around $92 million, and went on to gross more than $300 million worldwide. New York City cop John McLean arrives in Moscow to track down his estranged son Jack. McLean thinks his son is a criminal, so it comes as a shock when he learns that Jack is actually working undercover to protect Komarov, a Russian government whistleblower. With their own lives on the line, McLean and Jack must overcome their differences in order to get Komarov to safety and thwart a potentially disastrous crime in the Chernobyl region. The NYPD detective John McLean, who flies to Russia following his estranged son's arrest, was portrayed as always by Walter Bruce Willis, who was born in what was then known as West Germany in 1955. One of Hollywood's biggest ever stars, Willis initially achieved fame as a leading role in the 80s comedy drama series Moonlighting, going on to international stardom with his portrayal of the all-conquering action hero in this franchise. Bruce has recently confirmed his retirement from acting due to asphasia, a degenerative brain disease that affects speech and communication in general. John's son, CIA agent John Jack Clay Jr. was portrayed by Australian actor Jay Courtney, who was born in New South Wales in 1986. Courtney's first acting part was in a 2005 short film titled Boyd's Grammar, and in 2008 he played a role in the Australian series Packard to Do the Rafters, but his Hollywood breakthrough came when he starred in 2012's Jack Reacher with Tom Cruise. Since then he's perhaps best known for playing Eric one of the leaders of the faction Dauntless in the Divergent movie franchise. Whistleblower Yuri Komarov's daughter Irina was played by Russian actress and model Yulia Viktorovna Snigir, who was born in Donskoy in 1983. Yulia's acting career started when she was accepted to the Maktangov Theatre Academy and her cinematic debut was in the movie The Last Slaughter, which was followed by Vaccine, Gloss. Her big breakthrough came when she was offered one of the leading roles in the Russian sci-fi blockbuster The Inhabited Island, and its sequel, The Inhabited Island, Skirmish. She also became the face of L'Oreal in Russia. John's daughter, Lucy Gennaro McLean, who drives into the airport on the way to Russia, was played by actress and singer Mary Elizabeth Winstead who was born in North Carolina in 1984. Mary began her career making appearances in various TV shows, but her first major role was as Jessica Benick in the 90s soap opera Passions, going on to appear in a number of horror movies such as Final Destination 3, Black Christmas and Death Proof. After being in a relationship with Scottish actor Ewan McGregor since 2017, they were married in 2022 and have a son together. Jack's partner, CIA agent Mike Collins, who was eventually shot and killed by Chagrin's men, was played by American actor Cole Kenneth Hauser, who was born in California in 1975. Hauser made his movie debut in 1992's School Ties, alongside up-and-coming actors such as Brendan Fraser, Matt Damon, Chris O'Donnell and Ben Affleck, going on to appear in Dazed and Confused, which also starred Ben Affleck. Since then, in addition to this movie, He's known for his roles in the likes of Too Fast, Too Furious, The Breakup, Olympus Has Fallen, and Transcendence. 
former billionaire and government whistleblower Yuri Komaro, was played by German television and movie actor Sebastian Koch, who was born in Karlsruhe in 1962. Koch made his first TV appearance in 1980 in an episode of the series Derek, and then in the popular crime series Tatort in 1986. Although he's appeared in numerous German productions, his first international movies included the historical drama Napoleon, alongside Gerard Depardieu, John Malkovich and Isabella Rossellini. Detective Murphy, who discovers that John's son is awaiting trial in Russia at the beginning of the movie, was played by actor and producer Amory Nolasco Garrido, who was born in Puerto Rico in 1970. His movie debut came in Takeshi Katana's Brother, and it went on to appear in Too Fast Too Furious and co-starred opposite Bernie Mac in Mr. 3000. However, he's perhaps best known as George Fig Figueroa in The Transformers and as Fernando Sucre in Prison Break. Nolasco reportedly dated actress, director, producer and former child model Jennifer Morrison for three years. Chigarin's main henchman Alec played by Serbian actor Radovoje Raza Bukvi, who was born in Sombor in 1979. Having begun his career in the early 2000s, Bukvi is best known for his appearances in movies such as Taken, The Transporter, Refueled and Run All Night. Bukvi has been married to actress Marija Berger since 2015 and they have one child together. Russian actor and TV presenter Sergei Valentinovich Kolesnikov, who was born in Moscow in 1955, played the part of the high-ranking corrupt Russian official Viktor Chagorin. An honoured artist in his homeland of Russia, most of Kolesnikov's work has been done there, and he has recently appeared as a regular in the TV show The Dark Horse. Actor Aldis Alexander Basil Hodge, who was born in North Carolina in 1986, played the part of the military operations officer Lieutenant Foxy. His best known roles have been in Hidden Figures, One Night in Miami, and starring as MC Wren in Straight Outta Compton. Hodge had done some modelling as a child before his move into the acting industry. As I said at the beginning, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really hope you enjoyed it and maybe got something out of it, even if you don't decide to watch the movie. Once again, please don't forget to smash that like button or even subscribe to the channel. I mean, you know you want to. And remember, it's free.